um, me, Reese, back with another video. And today I'm doing my slime collection, which I've wanted to do for a long time. I also wanted to talk about my Etsy shop coming up. It's going to be called Fish Slimes. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be selling some slimes that... And I'm getting a new shipment of a bunch of slime stuff tomorrow. So I'm going to probably make a video on that. And also, I'm going to make a video on, like, my desk setup, like, under here. I have a bunch of storage and stuff where I'm going to put all my slime stuff. And I'm going to make a video of that. And then I'm also going to make a slime pet pee video, which probably will be next week. Um, because I already have, like, three videos that gonna, I'm going to post this week. So I probably won't be able to do that. So without further ado, let's just get on to the video. So I'm going to start with my small slimes first. So, I have three. Here they are. Amazing, amazing. And this one is my um, white slime. It's very small. It's a fluffy slime. It's kind of, um, what do you call it? Glossy. Sorry about that, that's very annoying. Hold on, I'll put that up there. It's really stretchy. It's a little bit sticky. It's a little bit sticky, but yeah, that's good. Is this too zoomed in? Cause I can zoom out a little bit. There you go, that's good. The next one I'll do is this one. So this one, I kind of like this one, I don't know, it's an okay slime. Oh, by the way, I'm going to probably throw away these slimes in here and then use these containers as uh, sample slime um, containers. So if you order um, three or more of my slimes, you will get a sample. Which I'm only going to start with two because, yeah, I don't know if somebody will actually buy, like, a ton of my slimes. But, yeah. Next one is this orange. I call this one orange flirt putty. Or flirt. Something like that. I don't know. It doesn't look very orange on camera, but it is really orange. Um, trust me. It is very sticky. But yeah, that's that one. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on all these slimes because I'm already at 30 minutes and I have only done the small slimes. So yeah, I'm just going to hurry this up. So next I'm going to do like um, these two slimes, which are really small. So this one is my butter slime. It's, it's very soft. It can get hard sometimes. I just add water. But yeah, I haven't added water today, so it's pretty hard. But yeah, it spreads very nicely. So, yeah, that's that one. And then I call this one a slime because I played with it. So I played with it so much when I first got it that it became like slimy and stretchy and soft and stuff like that. And also, it feels like a foam because it has like these mini micro beads. I don't even know how they got there. I didn't put them. And the poking sound is okay. So that's why I call it, I put it in my slime collection. Um, but yeah. The next one is this one, I guess. This one is so soft. It's a jiggly slime and a fluffy slime all at the same time. I really like this one because it's super soft. Sorry about that. That was a slime pet peeve. I just spread it a non spreadable slime. This 
So, yeah, that was that one. I really like that one. I just made it today, which is so surprising. I used the last of my one glue bottle that I had left. Well, I do have more glue left. I'm just saying I have one that I had like half left. So, anyways, on to medium. I have three mediums. So, I'll just do this one first. This is a glitter slime. Um, sorry about the background noise is also my mom's washing the, the dishes, so sorry if that bothers you. This one, the only bad thing is it gets on your table, as you see here. Um, can you see that? It gets on the table. Right there. Right there. Yeah, anyways. So, I'm not going to play with that one for a long time. Well, that was crazy. So. so, the next one is this purple, fluffy, and buttery slime. It's a fluffy and butter slime all at the same time, so it's super weird. I'm going to show you the spread. It does, it's not like a really good butter slime. Like, it doesn't have a lot of clay and stuff um, and cornstarch and stuff like that. But, yeah, it still feels like a butter slime to me. So the last one of the mediums is this blue slime, which I'm going to remake and put on Etsy on my new shop. So I'm going to make, um, it's like a jiggly, fluffy, metallic blue slime, and I'm going to scent it cotton candy. It's not the stretchiest, it's more of a thick but it's not like the stretchiest if you like go like that. It's like not very stretchy. But if you stretch it like that, it's pretty stretchy. So yeah, on to the last slime, which is a my biggest batch, which is this one, which I'm gonna put on Etsy. I'm going to put it in containers and sell it on Etsy. And I'm not trying to copy like parakeet slimes or anything, but it's going to be called Grape Cereal Milk. And I'm going to give credit for, sorry about that. I'm going to give credit for parakeet slimes and any other, <coughs> any other, any other slime shops and slime people that have slime called cereal milk. I'm really sorry about my brother. He's screaming. It's super drippy. I like it a lot. I'm so sorry about the background noise. Um, yeah, so that. I know I'm poking this super weird. I can poke like a normal person, guys. How weird is that? Okay, anyways. <laughs> so that one's it. I can't, I could change the name. So, um, Grape Zero Milk is not the official name for it. But, um, I will be working on the name as far as slime goes so here are all my slime so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe because i think you'll like it here and yeah go check out my shop probably um in next week i'm going to make my shop so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys 
in my next video. Bye!